Hi, my name is Arthur, and this is my free story, The Thing in the Ice. It's a story I'm going to play here with four random Redditors I found on the Looking for Groups subreddit. Uh, they can introduce themselves real quick. Katie, we'll start with you. I'm Katie. I live in Seattle, and I am absolutely obsessed with snow, so I'm really excited to dig into the story. Raven? Heyo, Raven here. I'm from South Africa, and I have never touched uh, snow in my life at all. I've touched scientifically fake snow, but it does not equate at all, I hear. Sure. Nick? Hi, I'm Nick. I am from Greece, actually, and it's very warm here, so we rarely see snow, and I'm super excited. <laughs> Aaron? Hey, I'm Aaron. Um, I'm from the UK, and I actually have a fear of snow. <laughs> Oh, you do? How, yeah. how does that work? I'm curious now. Uh, <laughs> serious injury. Ah, okay. That, <laughs> on ice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. Well, I okay. used to live on a boat. It got covered in ice. Yep. So, I have a lot okay. of scars. <laughs> I, 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 for one, like, right. started to wonder, why are you guys talking about snow? But then I realized, you know, there's a goddamn glacier right down the road <laughs> now. So, <laughs> yes. And the story is the thing in the ice. Now, I, I get it. Oh, as I mentioned, I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're going straight into the story. None of them, none of them know anything uh, of uh, any of my stories. We are going to use a very generic, straightforward percentile system. So in, if anyone wants to try anything, it's just me telling the percentage. And you can see right below here, there's like a little counter, 1 to 100. And if you go below what I, the, the, the number I tell you, you succeed. If not, you fail. Uh, most of the time I have like, if you fail by a lot, maybe things get a bit worse, but most of the time it's just fail or succeed. Also, I will give all of you one reroll for this story each. So if at any point you don't like the result you see down there, you can just tell me I want to reroll and we'll do that. But that's just one for each of you. And you can share that cool. if anyone really, really needs it. So, cool. yeah, you are on a British expedition exploration ship, or expla exploration expedition. It, this is the year 1808, and you guys are just regular deckhands on this ship. You just defeated the French uh, on uh, the Trafalgar uh, a couple of years back, and you're free to reign the seas so all over the world. And right now you're down in the Antarctic. Your captain um, just saw a new little island he wanted to uh, explore or get on the map. So he is, he is, right now he's starting to uh, sail around it. And as you're going around it, you realize that this island is U-shaped. And as he's rounding the corner, the lookout starts yelling, like, ship ahoy. There's other ships around there. Like... And you guys see it to me like you're immediately going into stations readying up for battle or whatever because there's not supposed to be any other ships down here. And from what the lookout is calling, he is telling that it looks like a French ship. Or he's not sure, actually. And of course, you guys are still at war with the French. The only thing is that they're not supposed to be on the seas anymore. So that's strange in itself. But the ship doesn't seem to be moving or there's no activity over there. So the captain just calms everyone down and uh, he stops. Because of the shape of the island, I'll give you a little map right here. That is very creepy. Goes without saying, the French ship is the one inside the U and uh, your ship is the one coming from the outside there. And anyone who knows naval warfare uh, has heard of the crossing the T, which is a very bad uh, strategic maneuver, as anyone who would try to sail in there right now would sail straight into their broadside. So you guys sailing in there to check out might be a very bad idea if there's a lot of French people manning the cannons on that ship. So the captain goes, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm sending two boats out. 
two rowboats and you guys are going to be a part of one of those boats rowing over there. So uh, your plan is to uh, come in from each your sides, get, uh, getting into, um, so, so try to flank it, to, to get from all directions. Now, of course, you guys don't have uh, radio uh, communication of any kind, so you have these small little flags you can go with. But your plan and your orders are to get on that ship, and see if there's anyone alive, and if it's a trap. You're not supposed to do anything else. Just give me all the information you guys can get me on what the hell happened there, what's going on, who's on that ship, is it a trap, everything like that. So you four are on one ro robot right now, and there's another crew of three other people on the other one. And... That's where we're going to start right now. And I'm, I'm going to ask you, two people here now need to be rowing the boat, and uh, one probably is going to uh, be on the lookout uh, in front I'd and one in the back. Rolling. Okay, so Raven and Nick, you're, you guys are rowing. Katie, Aaron, who wants to stay in front of the boat? Okay, Katie. I'll take rear lookout. Yeah. Okay, I'll be in front. So, okay, then it's Aaron up, up front. And you guys, as you're rowing, over there, um, so start to uh, like get. The, you, you heard rumors from the guys on the lookout. Uh, you can see it slightly for yourself as well. And the captain talked a bit about it. Like he said, they looked dead over there. They were laying strewn around on deck. And now that you're getting a bit closer, you can see shapes laying in the surface around the boat, like, floating. So, yeah, no one's going to survive in these waters for long, so they surely would not be alive. Aaron, you were up front looking, and you have the best view of this, and you, as you're, like, halfway over to the French vessel, you see a shape swimming in the water beneath you. It's a pretty big shape. And swims pretty quickly under your boat, or yeah, under a boat and towards your ship, the, the ship you guys just came from. Now, what you do with this information is up to you. How large are we talking? Like a killer whale? Or bigger? May, may, maybe something like that, or a bit less, maybe. Yeah, a bit okay. less. It's hard to um, see. It goes quickly, like I don't know. I mean, like I'm, both. I'm I'm just going to turn turn to to my crewmates and just be like, did you see that? Did you? Th what was that? None of you other guys saw. It. Like Katie, maybe maybe okay. if you turn around really quick, maybe you can see something. But did yeah. we bring any harpoons on this little dinghy with us? I mean, it, sure, you guys can have harpoons, but you did bring like flint flint like pistol pistols and uh, maybe like a yeah, spears or swords or something like that. I'm not chucking a sword in out of, after it. <laughs> and I, you, you and don't I see doubt pistols either. can work in this water. <laughs> well, uh, you see, um, the, on the other crew, there's uh, Paul and uh, two of his, uh, his other, uh, or your other friends aboard, and they're still going on. So if you guys uh, stop up over there, they're, they're looking over to you and going like, what, what's going on? Why? Come on, keep going. We're not going there alone. It's a big I'll problem. start again. I'll Push start right. Yeah. yeah, of course. We, we just keep, keep, we just keep kind of going forward, see, see what we find. But I don't like the look of this. No. And then pull out a pistol in case. <laughs> yeah, you, you can have your pistol at the ready, Aaron. That's no problem. You're getting close. I, 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 I don't want to do that just yet. I, I, don't, I don't want to pull out the pistol until we're... Somewhere a bit more firm in case the boat gets knocked. Sure. So you're getting closer, okay. and all of you guys can see it now. If you're just sitting there rowing, you see it. there are several bodies floating in the water. And some Damn. of them, or most of them, are badly injured. Some to the uh, point that there are they are ripped in half or cut in half. or Yeah, you can see uh, some legs. I reach over there. just to check, check the uniforms. Just reach over and 
have, have yeah, a look just um, to be sure who they are. It's it's strange, as I mentioned. They seem French, but they're not dressed in normal naval French colors or suits or hmm. yeah, anything like that. Are they all like in constant, like they have all like uniforms kind of things or? No, what? yeah, what? So, somewhat. Some of them are a bit different, but it seems like they're some some kind of special crew or something like that because they have more. That's the thing. You guys don't recognize this type of ship. Uh, the, you, you know, you've been to battle before and seen other French ships. And this doesn't look like any other ship. It doesn't look like a warship, and neither does it look like a trade ship. So it's strange. Um, do they have claw marks on them, or bite marks, or...? And that, that's very hard to say, but at least like, like massive it. trauma. Massive trauma. Okay, okay. So, I, like, pause for a second. Shouldn't we just try a harpoon one of these and bring them on, just to see? I mean, we are investigating this. I mean, we can check the bodies on the big ship, probably, no? I'd rather not uh, share the dinghy with there? the dead. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, how many are there on the ocean? Yeah. Like, are there... How many do we think? Uh, six, seven, eight people, maybe? Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Now that you're now closing in on the ship, you can see a bit more uh, on the ship. Like, it doesn't look exactly like this. But there's a couple of things you're, you, you can react to. From, from your side, you guys are coming from the right side now. Um, so oh, you're not coming from this angle. This is more like the angle the Paul and the gang is coming from. You can, the, one thing, like there's Fucking a smashed cool. ship. There, like I had to draw it in with my awesome paint skills. Uh, there's a robot that, yeah. that's crashed in two. And there's this, uh, the, the, you know, the safety net where people can climb up if they fall into the water. So you can oh, get... you actually drew that? Cool. Yeah, so you guys can easily just park next to it and climb up. But there's a hole. Wait a minute. Yeah? I, like, look, why, the th why is it down? Is it supposed to be down? Like, during sailing and all that? Uh, the, right now, yeah. the ship the... is not sailing. It's It seems like yeah. it's parked next to the ice on this island, this ice island. They and... probably brought it down to have the drowned people like when they were drowning to try to save them but i don't think that worked one other <laughs> thing you guys are not reacting to is nope. if you see that little black star shaped shape on the back side of the ship it looks yeah. like there's yeah. a cannon hole there hmm. there's no no other cannon holes on the ship so if it was a battle it was a very short and one-sided battle um, it looks like it was, uh, uh, like, Could something it from outside that broke no. it in, or something? Uh, actually, it seems it like the, 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 the damage has come from the inside and out, hmm. from what you can see. Okay. Maybe something... Actually, how big is this hole that we're approaching, that little star-shaped hole? How no, big is as it? As I mentioned, you guys are coming from the other side. Uh, Paul and the gang, they're coming oh, so from we the don't see whole it. side. Yeah, okay. You guys can see it from a distance, but the way you guys planned on boarding the ship, uh, you guys are coming to the net you can just climb up. So you can easily just uh, fasten the boat next to it and start climbing up. You first. And I say, like, poke, <laughs> Ar uh, poke Aaron's character. You first. I, I, I start climbing up and... Just kind of gingerly make my way up and kind of get a hand ready towards my cutlass. Yeah. Uh, so does everyone else just wait for him to take a peek uh, on the top side or do um, you guys start climbing behind him? I'm sitting for a while, just like looking towards everyone else. Well, go on. Uh, I'll be right behind. I'm trying to see if I can tie the rowboat to any place on the big boat. Uh, that's no problem. There's this net, so it, it's easily fastenable yeah. right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We died. Go How on. about you, Katie? Go Are on. you climbing up or just waiting for Aaron? Raven, we're not as yellow levy, le yellow lily livered as the French, so might as well just hop up. Uh, bonjour. Hello. Yes. I so, Katie. 
Aaron and Katie, you guys are the first ones to see this, but of course, Raven and Nick, you, you guys will also have this uh, view when you actually climb up. Oh, what were they doing? My gosh. What the. How fresh is it? Hell. I mean, it's very cold here down in the Antarctic, uh, so the the bodies they seem uh, like they they would freeze pretty fast. But you no know, rough estimate. Uh, you guys are in the afternoon now, uh, or early in the afternoon. This might have happened early during the, this day. Hmm. Fresh, fresh. So there's one thing. Wow. Yeah, of course, there's a lot of things to take in here. And by the way, <laughs> there's a bit more bodies than you can actually see laying around here. They're, they're just imagine a couple of more bodies yeah, okay. laying around. Do you think anyone's still alive? Awesome. Here? awesome. Uh, the the one thing you get, like you you the ship is groaning and grinding into the ice. You can see the broken parts there. That's because it's uh, it's not fastened properly and it's just grinding into the ice, destroying its own uh, side there. And there's this item or object you guys can see in between there. Uh, you can hear like a, you can see some slight vapor coming from it. It's, it, it's into the ice. It's, it's yeah, it's strange. Like some kind of... Do we see thing. the hands? The yeah. hands that the ice is like yeah, showing? I mean, yes, you do. Okay. Nope, nope. As I'm like just peeking over, nope, nope, nope. As like I'm pulling my head down, nope. I'll try to load up my flintlock and just have it on the ready. Ugh. I'm just like hanging over the freaking. I'm like looking over the freaking board, just like looking at the scene. Nope. It isn't Ugh. Napoleon, Raven. Come on, let's give it a look. Uh, so no, of course, from the back side of this vessel, you guys can hear. What the fuck is going on here? Like Paul and his uh, little trio has started climbing up as well and just shocked looking around on this scene. There's more dead people uh, further back on this ship as well. So I need to go as... through each and one of you guys now. Let's start with Katie. What do you do in this situation? Start poking through the bodies just to see if, um, if there are any ident identifying pieces here. Sure. Uh, that will take some time, of course, uh, checking all the bodies. Raven, you just after being scared shitless with this thing, I'm just going to, as I see like uh, Paul coming out, fucking Paul, I just like pull <laughs> myself up and come over. Now I remember, at least just from movie standpoints, that there was like these little like um, boarded nets in the middle of the ships when they had to bring stuff up. Do we have those? No. You don't see like a okay. not no not hatch. at least a, a big hatch. There's a big door down uh, there down the stairs, but uh, you can't see down beneath the deck. You can't. Okay, so I'm guessing that all these bodies we see are like almost the same as when we were like coming up here, correct? With all the bodies floating. Correct. They have suffered. I am damage going. As well. Instead of like Katie just looking at these bodies, I'm gonna look for one that looks very regal and higher standing like see sure. if there's any like higher person kind of thing nick how about you um i'm gonna look for paul and just tell him like right paul um we are gonna need you and the boys to try and stay on the lookout and we'll try to find anything below deck <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about nick <laughs> we're all like we should stick together. Whatever, whatever happened here, I'm not going. I'm not staying alone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You're yeah, not a superior, I... so like, if we fuck you, Nick. He goes like, you know. I mean, I know, but fuck you, do you, you see Captain. this thing in the ice? Do you see this thing in the ice? Yes. That uh, you know, I'm not staying up here alone with that thing. I'm not saying you stay alone. Yeah, you, you just said so. You said, I'm right. staying here, you go downstairs. No, you stay here, and yes, your gang that's what I try also to said. figure out, you and your gang try to figure out what's going on on deck, and leave us to try and figure out what's going on below deck. Oh my gosh. How about we just check this shit together, and 
we all go down together, just in case there's some shit going on down there. The, that's the thing we're looking for, right? The trap, remember? If there's a trap at all, like, everyone seems dead to me. Okay, but as you guys are bickering and arguing over there, Aaron, what do you do? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna go to, you know, um, a hatch leading downstairs and call over to Nick, come on and draw my pistol at the ready. Ready to go in. Okay. I... Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna walk to Aaron. Okay, uh, of course, uh, Brian, one of the other uh, crewmates who's on here, uh, he goes like, um, should we be worried about that um, metallic thing there melting the ice? There's a thing in the ice, right? And then there's a thing melting the ice right below it. Just see. Exactly, Ryan. That's why I like you. <laughs> you were about to go downstairs. You wouldn't have seen it. As I'm like I, I, poking through the bodies. Katie and Raven, you guys are just going around all the bodies right now. Uh, we'll, we'll do a bit of that uh, now, actually. Because as you're going around, you can also see what Brian's talking about. Maybe it's a second thing? The things in the ice. The things in the ice. <laughs> yeah, that's better. What I'm seeing is that this, like, salt circle or chalk circle is broken. Uh, I suppose the plan you guys had of going down has changed slightly now that Brian is commenting on the fact that you guys can see something inside of the ice and there is some kind of object melting the ice. Don't well, suppose it's a I penguin, will stay with you? the bodies. <laughs> no, uh, Katie and Raven, you guys are a bit closer. Um, it's definitely not Of course penguin. we are. <laughs> You guys are looting the bodies right now, and uh, some of the bodies are closer. Nick, you mentioned the salt circle and the fact yep. that it's broken. Everyone can now see there is some kind of ritualistic feel about this all. There are small little symbols uh, around the circle as well. Um Katie, the first things you start seeing on the dead bodies, uh, I mean, you're just checking what they have, right? Are you, or actually looting them? What's the plan? Looking to see if they are really Frenchies. Looking to see if there's anything that indicates where or when they came from. Okay, sure. Yeah, they, uh, they're small little things that makes you go, yeah, these guys are probably French. But the things you start reacting to more and more, all of the dead people around this salt circle, they have strange weapons. Like their swords are etched with some kind of runes or there's some kind of silver lining to the edge. They like These are most likely very expensive uh, swords or spears or knives or whatever they have. Uh, and some of them are very ornate as well. It's... It, nothing like you've ever seen before. And as you're figuring out... Can I all share, boys? <laughs> so, you start looting? Oh, most definitely. Oh, of I, course I you think we should all grab, at least grab one sword. Yeah. It's loads better than my cutlass. And yeah. it's got fancy writing. And that looks like salt. Unless they had completely run out of rations and were licking the scrub floor, I think that maybe it might be part of a weird thing and we are just thinking about taking cutlasses from all of them for money we yeah, sure we want to do that, that? I, I mean I, why I'm not keep one of those swords yeah <laughs> i'm i'm oh. just i'm keeping my own cutlass thank you very much you guys can play with like cult swords if you want as i'm digging through more bodies uh nick do you also grab one of the cutlasses or swords i mean if i can find one on my way to aran then yes i'll grab one for him as well Sure. So, Raven, you said you looked uh, over the bodies real quick and tried to find the highest standing one. Any, there. Uh, yeah, no, so, no, I want to see, like, we, they all look the same. So I'm thinking of one that is a bit more regal looking. So he's like higher authority, maybe. Yeah, he might have and something you do on find him. one uh, a bit closer to 
um, the thing that is melting the ice right now, the object. Of course. Laying there. Of course. Uh, you can see, like, oh, yeah, yeah, he has a bit of, like, more ornate clothes or, like, uh, fancy. It does look. Yeah, he does look like he, he doesn't necessarily belong on this ship. And he has an open book uh, under his hand. Uh, the way he, he, he lay, laid at, at the beginning, you guys didn't see it, <laughs> but he has a book. I'm sorry. Hand. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at Nick. He's just like leaning back like that. It's just making me laugh like hell. Um, I'm just going to... I look back. Guys, I think I found the cult book as I tap it with my toe. Can you read, Raven? Yeah, he, he can read slightly. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not picking it up. I'm not picking it up. I'm just like tapping it to see if this person's alive or anything like that. I, they look dead, but. Uh. <laughs> hmm. So, is anyone going Isn't... over there to check it out, or like, yeah? Okay. Okay. Fine. Not to be a Livy. Uh, Lily, oh my gosh, I'm doing it too. A yellow livered coward. I'm going to just take the hand. Actually, I'm going to use my sword for this. I'm going to take the hand, just move it off. Sorry. And just pull the book away from the corpse. And so, just take it a bit closer to everyone else. Uh, the title of the book, uh, or uh, like it's not a title, it, it looks more like it's a. Uh, Several kind of things, but one thing stands out. Uh, this name is a part of the book. I'll unite the invest. Oh, oh my French. gosh! Oh, for Pete's sake! Who speaks French? Paul, don't you speak a bit? This would be Napoleon. Yeah, Paul speaks French. Nick so. speaks French. No, no. I just like actually, look to Paul it. Cool, it's only, French. <laughs> Paul is actually the only guy uh, of. of of you people going Fucking over cool. that you can speak and read French. Of course, you guys probably know a few words. That one isn't too hard to understand for most of you, anyways. <laughs> but if if it's French inside, he he probably is the only one who can translate it. You know, okay, sure. Uh -huh. Takes the book. I don't believe that stuff, anyways. He says, and you know, seems a bit nervous uh, looking at the salt circle and all the dead people. Should we read this really, even in the, our heads, like, or for translation? He starts reading. Uh, anyways, now, looked, so oh, of I mean, he is. Uh, it's not it's, it's it's not French. I mean, it is French as well, some of it, but it's all, all, also English and Latin. Yeah. Actually, he starts looking at the salt circle around you, and he shows you, like, the, turns the book around. See, oh. th this is the symbol right here. This is in English, actually. Huh. Maybe that's why they can't um, Can we see what is melting the ice? Like, can we yeah, actually right see the you. object? You guys can hear like, this faint hissing noise from behind you. It's a, you have never seen the likes of that object melting the ice. It is... Imagine like those... Uh, uh, big uh, bullets, kind of thing, like uh, almost, you know, imagine like the Mario bullet right now, the ones shooting out from the cannons. Mm. It's similar in shape, but it's jointed uh, several times uh, over with very strange symbols on them, and some of the symbols um, seems to be glowing slightly. Can we remove it? From the ice? No, no, it, no, no, uh, I'm not just directly. like going backwards. I'm just going backwards a little bit. No, I'll touch it with my hands. Does it hurt? Oh, so you you actually touch it with your hand, Katie? Yeah, let's see if it's hot. Well, I mean, that is awesome. That is actually very like imagine touching one of those uh, ovens you have uh, hanging on your wall, like heating the home. It's oh, it's it's good and warm, like it. You guys are in the middle of the Antarctic, right? Like freezing your asses off. This is good and warm. That's its reason why it's melting the ice, I suppose. It's not scoldingly hot, so yeah, you can touch it, no problem. So no problem, right, Nick? Uh, 
I mean, what, Are we supposed it? to be touching something that glowing with symbols? I don't know. Can we try to, like, remove it from the ice? Like, pull it back? Pull it out? I mean, are you suggesting to Katie now, I suppose? Like, I'm <laughs> are suggesting you... to the gang, yes. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I'll, help, I'll help Nick with that, yeah. Right. I'll help. I'll help. Because I don't want to be the lone person. <laughs> I, okay, there's not room for four people pulling up and stuff. Uh, two people is more than enough. Oh, just and, get it right. faster. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, we'll just say uh, Nick and Aaron then, since you guys both uh, volunteered early there. You, you start pulling on this thing, and it's very, very strange. As I said, it's pleasantly hot. Uh, and as you're pulling it, uh, I don't know if your characters have any way of explaining it um, like easily, but for any of us modern people, it's like trying to pull a very big magnet. It has like this magnetic pull trying to get mm. back onto the ice. You can easily pull it away, but you can feel it's, it, it, it wants to go back. Mm. Damn, the ice pulling back. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, How you is that even possible? I'll grab Aaron and start pulling him. Yeah, you don't have to. It's easy. One person could do this by themselves. Oh. So, may I suggest just, throwing it overboard? The draw. Okay, uh, w- one more time. Aaron. No, we, we, we just... Uh, I think we should just place it in the middle of the deck and take a closer look. Yeah. See if any, if okay. any of the symbols make any sense. Okay, yeah, you, you pull it back to, to, towards the middle, and if, if you put it down, it starts rolling. Towards the ice, just starts rolling. So you actually have to physically block oh. it to, to, to make it stop. Oh. Hold, Can we get it. some ropes and weights and everything just to tie this around? Yeah, I mean, sure, the, the the other guys start looking for some ropes and uh, help you tie it down. To the, like they're pretty, right. so probably uh, tying it down to the mast. Right. Okay. By the way, uh, it's not scalding hot that it would light the wood on fire, right? Just, no, it's, that it's was pleasantly my concern hot. of putting just, it down. It's just pleasantly hot. Huh. Right, Raven, can you find the symbols in the book? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working mm. on it right now. Uh, it's, uh, it says... Um, it's oh, Of course, it's some kind of ritual to, to, to bind mm. something. Yeah, it's supposed to bind something. What oh, fuck me. Should we put it back? Yes, no, no, th- no, yes, no, no, please. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about whatever you guys are you know, playing around with there. I'm talking oh. about the salt circle thing. What? Oh. Uh, there's nothing about this, you know, uh, heat oven you guys uh, have. But it's got symbols on it. Maybe those symbols are in the book. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I. I'm going to check, but right now, uh, I'm just interested in it right here now and whatever's going on here. So, uh, Can someone keep an eye on Brian just in case? I don't know if my... Like, I'm just getting a weird feeling from the fact that he's reading a book I found on a corpse, to be honest. So, uh, Katie, you're still standing pretty close to where you guys pulled that object off. You just glance real quickly over to the, you know, the entity inside the ice. And you could swear that it briefly just opened its eyes and looked at you for a very short moment and just <laughs> sat still again. I'm gonna knock on the ice a little bit. <laughs> Nothing. It's just. I five? Nothing. Nothing. Does she see what it looks like? Uh, I mean, yeah, you can see some of it, like the the head and the, the arms. But you can see that, like the inside the ice, it goes further in, like uh, deeper, and it's pretty big. And uh, most likely, it's you know, you know, you, you, there's nothing to compare it to, really. It's so big and scary looking and it, if anything this would be like a the, the apex Don't predator on this say. like yeah oh my god so probably oh. not a penguin 
Maybe a polar bear. <laughs> you really big penguin. Uh, it did seem okay. to blink at me, which might be troubling. It what? It Just what? Sort of a friendly, you know, blinky do. Friendly blinky do mm. from a thing in the ice. That is maybe the ice is quite cozy. Possibly old. Okay. So, maybe. I I'm just going to make an assumption. How many bodies are on the ship that we found? Um, hard to say, but for now, I suppose you guys have seen about 30 dead people. Cool. I'm going to make assumption just quickly in this whole sense because it's freaking me the F out. Um, I don't know. Oh, sorry if I break meta. If F, F didn't like exist in the 1800s. No, I don't no, know. no, no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, so just judging by the fact that this book, and I look back to Brian Bride, does it have both? Oh, wait, it doesn't tell you about the heating thing. That's actually an interesting point, because I was going to suggest that most of the group was going to thaw something, and then the other group on the ship had another idea of not doing that because it's crazy looking, and they mutinied? Or something else happened as I look around. So, uh, as far as you can see, uh, right above where the the thing the, or the artifact, let's just call it that, was melting the ice, it looks like they they were working on picking out the ice, like scraping and chopping. You can see there's a lot of ice on deck. There's a bit more than you can actually see on the picture as well, but it very sure looks like they were actually digging into the ice. See, I told you. See, okay, uh, guys, that... I find, you know, I figured it out. Uh, see here, Paul goes. Uh, th this uh, ritual, uh, suppose it's uh, it's a bit hard, like it's half and half with the different languages, but it's it's a ritual to bind the demons and other foul beasts of the earth. Yeah. Cool. These guys are. I get it. Like, like I, I, I say, kind of in response to Raven, like. We've seen the bodies. A human didn't do this. This isn't a mutiny. That they've been torn apart, some of them. It's something else. I mean, Look, Napoleon's yeah. been fucking up the war. They probably wanted to get some sort of big, bad evil on their side to give the British war for. Mm. And they cocked Fair. it up. Yeah. French playing with things they didn't. They cock it, though. No, 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 not thinking about that. Because I like point to everything around us. What we could killed take this them? Back to yeah, the crown. Ask. Uh, should we maybe go downstairs and check now? Says Paul. Uh, yes, well, let's do that instead of melting something out, please. Yeah, I mean it's it's tied down there now, so I'm looking towards Katie's character. I'm just gonna stay with her just in case of something. Okay, I'll just give you guys a little last look on what's going on here, if you... I'm sorry, we are don't... not doing that, as I, like, straightforwardly look towards her. We are not doing that. I, I just want to take a closer, closer look at the, the metal object and just see if I can work out where the heat is coming from. Like, is there something creating the heat? I mean... As, as far as you guys can see on the artifact, no, it's just hot by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have anything to compare it to. Aaron, didn't yes, you can't. see another thing in the water earlier? There was something, some creature, but it, it could have been a shark, it could have been a whale, it could have been something else. Okay. We should have tested the water, like, just to see how deep it is. I mean, if it was shallow, we could have seen what it was. I, it's I mean, not shallow. You guys would have seen, but in now, no, it's not shallow. Okay. So... Are yeah. our rowboats still okay? Yeah. I mean, if you could just take a look over the edge yeah. of the ship, no, it's it's still there. You guys would have... Can we see the... Ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you want to see the big picture, Sam? Now, how's our ship? 
No, is yeah, it's, yeah, it's still laying over there, just waiting for you guys to give the signal. So if it's safe or not to come over. And right now you guys um, haven't checked the rest of the ship, so you don't know. Yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, All right, Paul. Let's go down, down. we go. Sure. I'm going to yeah. stay yeah, with yeah. the device. Oh, for Pete's sake. Then I follow. Uh, say, I was just going to look at I it a bit longer. I thought you were afraid of that thing. Yeah, we're just going to leave him. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, yeah. Paul's also, Paul also just gives a little... Hmm, that's pleasant. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, like, he pulls out his gun as well now. Let's, okay, uh, suppose we go downstairs. Is it dark, by the way? Can we actually have no, no, light yeah, or something it's, like that? It's uh, like most of the parts down below is dark, so you guys have to pull out lanterns. Or there are lanterns yeah. on the ship, so it's uh, it's not hard to get light going on down there. So yeah, you get all you know the light that you need, and you start going down all seven of you, mm. and just poke starts poking and you know looking into every part you can, and as you come down the stairs uh, going down and under you can see a light source by itself um, the hole in the ship right you guys saw it earlier when you, uh, oh. you came over here and of course when you see it to the other side uh, from you can see there's a cannon pointing straight at you guys as you're coming down the stairs here now but there's no man manning the cannon so whew. but it's clearly where the hole in the ship came from right now someone shot it goddamn cannon straight through the wall there. What in the world? They've always been shit, Maxman. There's uh, there... like uh, three dead people around the cannon. Is there any gore that looks non-human or like it's been splattered by a cannon near the hole? Or... Nothing at all. I'm, I'm just going to have a look and again see how it looks like they died. You know, cutness, Got musket or something else? And nothing of the sorts. In that case, it would be a very large cutlass uh, and swung by someone with enormous strength. They're slashed, you know, all, all the way through almost. Or, or punctured straight through. Yeah, the, cool. So, like there's yeah, there's another else, but, theory. Yeah. No, 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 I was just going to say, yeah, I think that theory of something else being in the ice just melted out is very applicable right now. Uh, you, mm -hmm. you think there's another one of those on board? Goes Paul? Well, the fact that they shot a cannon or tried to shoot a cannon inside the ship means that they were aiming at something. Not one of them men, probably. But, and we saw something, so I'm just thinking that that is what did this? Yeah, yeah, and also the, you said the, the, the circle on deck was like to contain something and it was broken. I, yeah, it was to contain something, yeah. It seems like the, the, there's a lot of places to go around from here now. Uh, I mean... So, we're not splitting up, are we? As I'm just, like, holding the lantern shakily. I don't think we should. I'm not too keen on it either, says Brian. Uh, but, it, I mean, Paul goes like, but if there was another being on this vessel, wouldn't have it have come by now? Do we have any idea direction. of like, like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it possible it could be on our ship? I'm gonna poke I mean, out and I, try I, to look across. Check out the hole, it's right there in the wall. No, no it's just yeah. still there. Like, you can see oh, some people like moving a bit back and forth. It's very far away, but everything's fine over there. Uh, how many people are on deck still? Uh, of uh, your like, own crew? No, 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 no. Like, of all the people that came with us, like, some of us have gone under deck. How many no, people all are of still you are on, under deck? Under yeah, deck? No one wants to be alone right now. <laughs> all of you are under deck. Oh my right gosh. Now. Uh, 
I feel like someone has to stay up there just in case of lookout, in case this actually happens to our own ship, so we can actually see something and try and do something. Uh, I take it you're volunteering for that. <laughs> Me? <laughs> actually, maybe I, it gives like, a chuckle from the other guys. Like, yeah, you, you never, you know, you can't handle shit, Raven. <laughs> I, like, look down. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's very nice of you. I hope sarcasm is in this time zone because that was <laughs> fucking rude. <laughs> I'm going to. Can no, you? No, I'm just let, gonna let's, take let's the... just get on with this. Like, it can't be that many rooms down here. Let's just get on with it and, you know, signal the ship, okay? Yeah. Uh, well, Fine. It, that, that, it all starts that's going that's down that's one of the other, uh, like, it, it, Right now, it splits into two where the ship goes, and Paul starts going down with uh, the, the two other guys. I, I, I think we should go okay. and check the uh, captain's quarters first. Yeah. Yep, I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay, so that's... Uh, based on where it is on your own ship, it's actually the other way from where Paul went right now. Enjoy your right. time, Paul. Uh, you too, so scream if there's something going on. Yep, you do. F off, Paul. Yeah, you guys go check like a, a few uh, non-important rooms, really. And then you do find uh, what looks to be a bit more ornate and fine looking and the door is open and you do see a mm. bit of blood through the open door Aaron you first again it's been a fun time but you first still <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of make my way forwards I, I kind of gently open the open the door with my foot whilst holding a lantern up and have a pistol in another hand that's definitely the captain, all right. He is laying on the floor, uh, and he is dead. And, of course, everyone else is coming behind Aaron right now. And what you can see in this captain's quarters is very unique. He has a lot of stuff going on in here. It's like a laboratory, almost, like with all kinds of gadgets and strange symbols or equipment you've never seen the likes of. You know, uh, it's very familiar with the book kind of things you guys saw up there. Like it may be like a small alchemist corner in the in his room there. And he is right now, as far as you guys could see, uh, dead on the floor. And it seems like he tried to reach something on his table. And on this table, there's a couple of ledgers, but also an open chest. It's open from the other side, so you can't see what's inside the chest there. Money? It's, it seems like it's been slashed. Diagonal from behind, or trying to reach this. I can make my way around to have a have a yeah. look on the desk. Yeah, it's it's very. We go to the treasure chest. <laughs> it's it's very easy for everyone to just go around and take a little look inside. Inside, there's this almost like a pillow or like a, a velvet uh, cloth with twenty small little uh, holes in the cloth, or like uh, sunken down. And in mm. 18 of these 20 holes, there are different kinds of bullets that uh, fits into a gun. Like a musket, flintlock muskets. Like when you fix them ready and you shove in another one. And there's five types of different kinds of metal and wood kind of things, or bullets. They're made of different kinds of metal. One definitely is gold the other one is silver the third one is a strange metal that you've never seen the likes of it's like more starry <laughs> it's it's strange you've never seen it and the fourth one is some kind of dark wood and the thir uh, fifth one is some kind of light wood and they're all marked with different kind of symbols on them as well these are which which painstakingly made uh, definitely at least the the wooden ones because you can't just form those into some kind of cast and there's two missing Which as one? i said this it's one gold and one silver is missing uh, one. I, I grab a gold and silver one yeah that do we this. have some please there's as three like more gold there's this. three more gold and three more silver five of each other type I'm going to look at the starry ones. I'm just going to look at the starry ones. Just like look at it. It's some kind is of, it of shiny when I move it? metal, like uh, different kinds of 
crystallization into it, or it's it's hard to say. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. So now we at least know what he was making with those alchemical things, or with all that stuff. But still, why make a bullet out of wood? A daft. Yeah, definitely. It would splinter immediately when struck with uh, gunpowder. Maybe that's the point. I look towards Nick. What do you mean? I mean... Splinters... Spread and... Oh. Get it weird. Maybe they want the runes to spread, the symbols. Like a blunderbuss or something? Like the... Yeah. Uh... Like... I mean, yeah. Blunderbuss round, but for flintlocks, no? Could work, but would be very short-ranged. I'm gonna take three stars. Uh, is there three star? Like, I just want to make sure there, I there have are those five ones. Five star ones, like five star ah. ones, five uh, dark wood and five light wood, and only now three more golden and three more silver because Aaron already took one of each. Uh, I'm gonna just be a bit fair now. here. Uh, <laughs> I'm. Aww. I like the stars. You'll get the spare star one. I, Don't worry. All of you can have one each of from each bullet. That it's that simple. And there's and still a couple of over. Yes, yeah. over. Okay, one silver, one gold, one star, and one wood. Right? A uh, two wood, different. One dark and one light. Uh, light, light. And... I'll take the darker one. So, yeah, I clearly I'd... thought that these were going to protect him, and they evidently didn't. But I'm just still to be gonna on the safe take. Side, the we should thing. take them all. I'm gonna be on the safe side, yeah. So yeah. So you Does guys... the captain have a flintlock himself? Yes. Good question, Nick. We didn't see it, uh, but yes, his other arm is a bit under his body, and he has a very fine-looking ornate piece of flintlock pistol. It's uh, almost goldenish with a lot of runes and uh, carvings on it. It's it's super valuable, most likely. Does it look uh, fired recently, or is there anything inside? Is it loaded? It's not loaded. It has been fired recently. Loaded. Well, we're so. definitely taking that. Yeah. Just grab it off the body as soon as I see it, and like check it out. So do the other guys. Be like, damn. That's, that's a nice prize, Nick. That's a <laughs> nice ass pistol. <laughs> okay, who who takes the rest of the bullets then after everyone has taken their fair share? What's left? Like, the rest. <laughs> All of you grab uh, one each. Uh, and, uh, there's a lot of dark and uh, light wooden bullets, and as well as uh, a couple of more star starry ones. Remember, there were five I'll take of more of the star ones. Four of you. I'll take so more of the star ones. Yeah, you have two. Raven stars. likes the shinies. Yeah, you know, actually, you have three ones, the three starry ones, and Raven. And the other, like, Katie and Nick has one each as well. Okay. So you took the rest of the just, uh, bullets and Raven. I'm just gonna look to them with the like the bag of bullets of these wooden ones. Good idea or not? Because it might be interesting. The, uh, the captain's bag, you mean, mm -hmm. or what? I don't follow. Her, I'm Raven. gonna take them. If you guys, if you guys are not like sure about these wooden ones, I'm just gonna pocket them. Like, yeah, is there like a satchel more? around? No, you, you probably have a satchel with uh, more lead lead bullets in it already. I'll just put... I'll take the wooden ones as well. If you guys are too afraid of the whole thing, I'm just going to take the wooden ones as well. <laughs> it just don't look useful to me. Should I try to shoot one? Do what? I give one to Nick. I give one to Nick, the darker one. Yeah. Right, I try to fire it like... On at the, the body, just at the body, body yeah. to be honest. You're <laughs> shooting the dead captain. How nice of you. <laughs> to be fair, it's safer than sh shooting it into, I like, mean, the air. Of course. And I want to see what effect it's going to have on the flesh. Yeah. Of okay, course. Okay, that's you... awesome. Yeah, you fire it, and amazingly, the bullet doesn't shatter, actually. This was the darker oh. bullet or the lighter one, actually, by the way. Darker. The darker. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't shatter. It strikes into the flesh just as normal uh, bullets would, like lead bullets would do. It doesn't seem to do anything different, though. But the, the the wood is still intact, just like a bullet. Like, or 
it's hard for you to check that unless you actually start cutting up the wound to see the bullet. But as far as it entering the body, it entered just like a normal leaden bullet. I pull the body up to see through, see if it went through. No, it didn't go through. Hmm. Okay, so... But of course, these guys start Harry yelling, like, well, what the hell's going on? Because, of course, oh, like, yeah. you guys just blasted a flintlock pistol <laughs> and uh, the gunshot can be heard. We thought uh, we saw someone move. Give us a break. We're scared of shit. Okay, so 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 everything's fine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Oh, oh cool. what's that? I just wanted to fucking tease. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. What's next up? Can we check the chest, or is that where we got the bullets from? Or That's is the where you got the bullets. bullets? Uh, I, I want to go and have a look at those charts. Yeah, the charts and the, their uh, his journals and all that stuff. Yeah, I of course it's in French, and Paul is oh, the French for guy. Sake. But I, there I, is definitely I, I, something. I pick them all up. Yeah, the, but there's definitely you can recognize the captain's log anywhere. You hmm. definitely can get that one and uh, the charts as well. But the charts it, in it by themselves or just. Charts. There's nothing unique about them, as far as you can see. Does it just uh, uh, have uh, the island? Like, the charts themselves just have, like, the island and just, like, a cross? Or something like that? They they did definitely draw this island in on their own maps as well. So, they didn't have this on the map from beforehand. Hmm. What's the time say, on the I captain's I think we should take these back to our ship. And, and kind of pick them up, okay, yeah, ready to you, carry you, them. Ready. Grab all the stuff. Uh, Katie, um, the, the time on the clock, it's uh, still ticking. Does it match what we know the time to be? Yeah, it does. Would we know? Well, that's how you measure longitude at sea. Oh, okay. okay. I think cool. we should probably go and find the others now. Yeah, probably. Did we look at all the charts and everything? As the, are we not missing anything at all? Right, right now, it's uh, you know the, just a basic overview of what you guys saw. There's nothing big or new about the charts. They were just mm. trying to navigate down here, just as you guys did. That simple. Yeah, so you guys are finished on this part of the boat uh, and are now traveling towards the other direction where Paul and the other like Mark and Brian went as well and uh, before you... we yeah. uh, go there I'm just gonna yell at Paul like hey do you find anything Good Paul it's actually quite for a bit before hey we, we found someone someone's still alive down here oh shit uh, long and... cutlass at the ready <laughs> Yeah, I they, they, uh, me not, too. Me too. They're not screaming for help, or you don't hear any sounds of combat. It's very quiet. And of course, you can see far down the road or the what's like the corridor, the light source where uh, Paul and the other guys are, are right now. Give me a second. I need to. Right. Oh, I'm oh. just gonna ready the flintlock and like continue on. Ready my cutlass, just in case. So you all run down the corridor and meet up with Paul and the gang, and it's in the kitchen. And you can see all of them just standing there looking at this guy, uh, and there's a mess in here. Like several... It looks like uh, the chef is the guy who's still alive. Now, alive is a very nice word to use in this situation, but because he's clearly dying. It seems like he tried to hide behind some barrels in the kitchen here. And the barrels with uh, flour and salt just got smashed uh, over and here. Or uh, like, yeah. And in between all those uh, ingredients lies the chef. He has not been cut or pierced in any kind of way the other people have been. This guy looks to have uh, had... It, it, like, it, half of his face is missing, and same goes with 
uh, his arms like this, uh, and his chest here. It looks like it's been melted away. You can see through to the bone. And can he talk? Can, oh, can we get he's, anything? He's barely breathing. He's barely breathing. You can see, but he is clear. It's most likely in a coma or something. We're all seeing him. this, right? We're, we're all. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's like the, the gosh. bit of the face that has flesh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no reaction at all. <laughs> hey, 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 calm down, Aaron. Uh, some of the other guys say, like, he is clearly not going anywhere. Yeah. Should, should Are we, we see the same our thing? Ship? I mean, are we seeing a half face right now? Yeah. Yep. We're not all drunk. Half, right? half an answer to a question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Only a little. Hey okay, guys, should I go signal history. our ship? I mean, I mean we know check? nobody's on the cannons. We didn't see uh, anyone uh, where we went, and you guys didn't see anything, I suppose, except nope. for the gunshot thing you guys did. Yeah, we no, saw no, no. a rat as big as a dog, so we shot it. Don't worry. <laughs> They're just good, like fuck. Really. <laughs> and as you guys are discussing yeah. this, you guys hear a sound <laughs> on top of deck, right above you, and over like someone is something is just moving across the deck towards approximately the ice where the thing was inside. Everyone goes like. <laughs> And then complete. Silence. I just I follow the I follow the noise. I just follow the noise just to hear where he's going because I have a feeling where he's going, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, you heard. Come on, but then I just like pull. I pull Nick. I pull Nick with me. Complete on, silence. Right. There's complete silence right now. You don't hear anything anymore. I'm just going to go down a little bit, just a little bit down for some reason. I'm basically doing kind of the squat right now, just in case, because I have a weird feeling. I'm not pulling you with me, Nick. You like I'm just the one leaning down, uh, like going down. I, I think hey. it's time to get on deck and, sig and signal the ship. T you, tell them everyone. You, that's a you bad go first, idea. Aaron. You go first. That's a yeah. bad idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I make I might start making my way back to the the deck. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Oh, we have to follow him. Come on. Yeah. Let's just be you, quiet at least. Let's be quiet at least. You're still Let carrying uh, the, the the charts and the the book, Aaron. Uh, yep, yep. But so so okay. Yep. Since since you're carrying that stuff, uh, you know, Brian actually goes in front of you with a gun. Uh, since you actually are not carrying any weapons in your hands. Yep. Uh, just the torch okay, and yeah, the books. Yeah, yeah. But, as he creeps up the, the, the um, stairs leading up to the top of the deck, he goes, I don't see anything. Where's, do you see the device on the mast? Yeah, 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 no. It's not on the mast anymore. It, it's back on the ice. We are not are going on that cut? deck. We are not, we are not going on that deck. Are the ropes cut? Can you see it? You, you, you can actually stay next to him and oh, take, take yeah. a look as well. It seems like they're burned through. Okay. And now that you, we are now, not now that you realize the it, there's more steam coming now. It seems to have Shh. been gotten hotter. So that must have been what uh, rolled across the deck. Like, let loose, let itself loose oh, by burning God. the rope. So oh, thank God. Smashed into the ice. Uh, and now it's uh, with the steam going on there. Shit. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go get it back. Let's go get it back. I I'm thought guessing. we were waiting it with a ball. I thought we waited it with cannonballs or something. Not like freaking. I guess we did tie it to the mast. Yeah. But I thought ropes. we were waiting it with cannonballs. I go. I, I go. Come on. We have to get that thing. Come on. Uh, I just okay, like, yeah, yeah. The guys yeah, are uh, trying to help you right now. But like, whenever someone tries to twitch, oh shit! It's it's a lot harder right now. Uh, um, um. Like, do we have chains? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Like. Uh, uh, if someone tries to grab chains or those long um, things you get used to pick up stuff from yeah. the water in and starts trying yeah. to pry it. Like, as you guys are working on it, uh, it feels like the magnetic pull is, has also become stronger now. Uh, um, is, are really any of the symbols on it visible? 
No, it, it's still it still looks the same. Can we try to... Are the symbols etched on or are they painted on? Uh, it's like they're etched on or something. But it yeah. seems like, uh, all, uh, like all the pieces, as I said, like the, the interlocking pieces, they seem to have been able to uh, adjust them. Uh, Aaron, uh, Paul goes like, what, what's, uh, you know, what's that French-looking book you got there? It's uh, the captain's log and, and his charts. You know, can I take a look? I, I pass it, yeah, yeah, I pass it over to him. That's because there's not room for all seven of you around this thing anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. he starts reading again, like flipping through. Uh, okay, so so you. Do we at least try to pull like this thing apart? Yeah, like, right now when, when you actually help each other break it loose from the ice, you, you're able to throw loops of chain chains around it and start pulling it back again. Yeah. Right now, you actually need two people to pull it because of the strong magnetic pull. But you are able to get it off the ice again. You are. Mm. Um, it, does anyone we, try to uh, do anything about it? Or just tie it down to the mast again? Or what's the plan? Uh, how about we put it below actually, but actually below yeah. deck would have been better because it would hit the just the wall. It wouldn't get out or anything like that. So I think we should put it below but deck. Wouldn't that you know, it, burn it down burns through the ropes? It, it would could burn, burn through the ship. Oh. Oh, now it can burn through the ship. Awesome. Um, I mean, maybe not now, but maybe later. What about if we put it on the other side of the ship, away from the ice, in, like, uh, not hanging? Uh, I mean, it could hang on to... the chains. Yeah, there's, you're scratching their head. Yo, 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 guys, guys, I have uh, found the near last part of the captain's log here. Uh, you know, uh, he, he, he starts... As you guys are trying to, you know, ranch and rattle this uh, thing, this artifact, he starts reading loudly. Uh, uh, it was one of the more peculiar items I have ever seen. The Dutch trader we bought it from told us a strange tale indeed. Sailing around the southern edge of Africa, they witnessed the spectacle of fiery blasts in the sky, followed by a rain of fire like shooting stars. These did not disappear in the sky, but rather followed uh, through down to earth. Both their log and first accounts tell of them being in close vicinity to one of the fiery shooting stars landing locations. Sadly, they did not follow up on more of the locations, but luckily for us, we had some other means that led us get into getting in touch with them. The artifact can be manipulated in several ways, most is still unknown to us. Its first reaction was to act as some kind of compass showing and leading the way south we didn't we decided not to adjust it any further in hopes of finding more related pieces it was not difficult for us to get leave to follow to travel following its lead and, and here, here's the last part we arrived to find the small island and its frozen content contents what to find the artifact once seems to want to travel on its own into something buried deep inside of the ice uh, we should spare no means to secure this find in the most protected manner, as we do not know if these new finds are dangerous in any way. All the weapons known to hurt the supernatural are given out, as well as holy and magical rituals to contain it. My scientific mind sinks in anticipation as we now start on the excavation of the first of the two creatures. Hmm. So, of the two. Fuck. Nick was right. So you were right too, Katie. Water. It was a weapon that they were looking for. G guys, well, what's our ship doing? Oh. Oh fuck me! We look towards the ship. Dramatic music pause. We're back on right now, and yes, Raven, you did suggest, but you didn't do anything about it, did you? Because nobody else did! I don't okay. want to be the one stuck up there! Why should so, anybody else? This yep. is what you guys see. Mm. So right now, you we guys just see are, the ship. Are, you guys are in, in, in the middle uh, of the it, U. It, uh, on the south. Right now, the, you can see your own ship. Your, your own ship there. Oh, it's, fuck it's me. Now it's actually started to travel again. That's why he... What's our ship doing? The kind of thing. Uh, because there's a small boat, uh, seems like it's out of course, or no no one's uh, maneuvering it or anything like that. 
and your ship is traveling towards it. And it's very close, uh, yeah. as you can see. Like uh, people are uh, leaning forwards on on their like on the boat, like looking what's going on there. Who, who's there? Uh, because if you no. just uh, here earlier, you saw one of the broken ships, but you realize that one of the other ships has been gone actually. So. Oh, oh no! Oh yes, and of course when they get. Close enough, you see this huge ass creature jump out of the boat and up onto your own ship. And immediately you hear gunfire. Pistols and rifles start firing. And even though it's a bit far away, you hear a lot of screaming. And there's this thing is extremely quick and agile. And you can see it running across top of deck on your own ship and there's yeah and more gunshots going you can see people getting flung out overboard slashed down and this ship your own ship starts losing control very very quickly and everyone knows what happens in this situation as it goes out of control it starts turning in towards the you towards you guys okay cool we're abandoning your ship right no. Uh, if if this if this if the two ships get destroyed, we don't get home. Okay, what is the then we get one this ship, Melvega. You guys have about ten minutes before oh, you really uh, before your own ship strikes this vessel. So yeah, we're gonna try and move, aren't we? We gotta move what the is French the ship. Frozen one doing. What? What is the, the frozen, frozen one? Thing. The, f the frozen creature. The frozen creature, yeah. The thing. In the ice. It's frozen. Oh, thank okay. god. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're just gonna... <laughs> like, I'm gonna quickly unfurl the sails as fast as I can. Like, a as soon as I see this... Oh, yeah, we're going! I'm just gonna, like, uh, just unfurl how? the sails and try uh, to get how this... How are we uh, going? We're... <laughs> Oh, you, you, you want to try and get this ship ready right now, Raven? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, get, the get the anchor up. Okay. Uh, are you like? Are you serious? Come on, we have to try. No, we're just seven if people. If our bow pierces this one, we're both dead in the water. They're already dead. That thing's uh, on board. We've got uh, to move. They're, they're Maybe we can try to sink that. By one. the way, <laughs> so no, they're not all what? dead just yet, but they're they're dying at a very rapid pace. Oh dear. Okay, we can try oh, the cannon idea Jonathan. and shoot it. We can try and shoot it. Just shoot your own ship? I think that it, it might yeah. be a better idea than sailing. I like your seven people. Yeah, it will take a lot of time to get this ship oh, uh, moving sake. with just seven people. And you guys don't actually know the ship. Uh, in, yeah, so I think I, shooting will be a better idea for now. Until we move this ship somehow. How do you... Otherwise, no. we abandon it's, it's our own ship. Get stranded. It's our own ship. Do we know this one can sail still? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Sinking. But I say, I say, say, I say, sink it. Like not this one, but our one. To be okay. honest, because that thing's coming right towards us. It doesn't the necessarily come at a crashing speed, destroying both ships. But they are going to be both gathered up. Inside this of, of this you. Uh, and also, we can I want try to, try to knock the creature. mast down. Are there any chain shots? Right now, it seems like they're just a drift of the ocean itself just drifts the ship into this you. So oh. it doesn't oh. matter if the, they actually had the sails off. Remember, they was just standing there waiting for you to see if if it was safe or not. Um, one minute is gone. Nine left. Shit. Fuck! 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 What can we do? I, I'm actually suggesting we sh shoot the ship because, like, it will well, take that creature out at least. If that's the case, it can yeah, swim. We, we, we can't can swim. swim. Uh, uh, we're not shooting on the HMS. That's a disservice to king and country. All right, we're gonna disservice try to get this one out of the way. You can't serve our king and country. country about that, what we just saw. 
We're, we're, we're not uh, shooting the king's colors. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how about we get into the, the, you know, the small boats and just start rowing away? Yeah. Row wait, back to England! No, wait, isn't there, there is nothing? A... Is there like another one in the water? I mean, no. isn't that the same thing that can just swim very fast? And how fast can we row, to be honest? Two minutes, that's good. Uh... Okay, oh, dumb idea. Fuck, 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 that fuck, one fuck. is aggressive. This one might not be. What if we just release what? this one? No! No fucking yeah. way! No! I, I, this I'm might not be me! Katie. Yeah, I'm gonna help we Katie. We are not doing that. Yeah. I'm like, what? I'm blocking, I'm yeah. blocking Katie, I'm blocking Katie, I'm blocking Katie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul no, and Mark, no, we are not doing uh, that. Well, what the fuck are you guys doing? We are not doing uh, that. We have enough problems. Get in the fucking boat <laughs> or something. We are not leaving. We can't swim out. Swim this thing. You you freeze to death in the waters. Do we do we still hear them like alive? I looked. I like Katie's character. That, that you, you, now are and you then sure? you hear like a single. Are you very shot sure? Going off, but uh, no, they're not alive. Uh, like a... oh oh cool cool cool. Uh, Katie, I'm just gonna look at your character. Are you sure? No, not the least. This is a bad blink. idea. <laughs> You know, it seemed gonna, like a nice blink. I'm gonna take the item and put it back at the ice, like put it back is close there, to the ice. Is there any chance we can row fast enough to get there before no! it crashes on us? Uh, yeah, I you, the the on. I you will the be able to, to row uh, and intercept it, but changing its course? Yeah, maybe, maybe. But right lowering now, the there's, anchor. There's a creature on that boat, but yeah. Uh, yeah. That, no. 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 <laughs> It would be doable. I'm not thinking about any... fighting a thing that just took a crew out. Three minutes has gone by. Cool, I, I'm gonna do Katie's idea, because right now it's batshit insane, and we just saw something that was yeah, batshit you know, insane. I, 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 I'm with the idea, but let's shoot the ship, okay? Let, let, we have a couple of cannons downstairs, yeah. just load them up and shoot it. Let's try to get it down. The problem is, the moment we do that, we are cancelling its last boundary. It could just jump on this ship and just kill us. That's the problem I was thinking. Uh, but I'm with the shooting plan already because I'm not melting another fucking thing like that. We have enough issues. We don't need this shit here. Guys? <laughs> I'm thinking about shooting. Okay. The binding didn't work when the French East did it. Can anybody see if there might be a way to bind it? If it gets on this ship. Why? I checked the cir circle Paul says. It, yes. It, 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 like it, all of the symbols and the thing they had in the book is perfect except for the part where it's broken. Can we Fix repair it. it? I mean... Yeah. I, I'm just looking straight at the ship just to make sure if I don't like see it move or just jump off just for like freaking wanting this thing to ram at us. I just want to just keep my eye on the no ship idea, yeah. just in case something changes. Okay, okay. So that we'll actually do... One at a time here now. Raven, you're yep. uh, you're actually trying to follow the creature and the ship. Katie, what do you do? Yeah. Trying to help Paul fix the rune, while also keeping an eye on the one in the ice. Okay, sure. Nick. Uh, I'm gonna. We have the uh, the heating thing out, right? Uh, did you release it? Do you want to release it? No. I want. Uh, like, you were all just discussing it, like arguing about it. Scratch off maybe the glowing runes with like a saber or something. Okay, so you try, you know, to try to damage the thing. Yeah, damage the runes. Maybe it's yeah, sure. make it stop working. Aaron, what do you do? I, I, I'm gonna support Katie. Okay, so you guys like, try to like, try, think, try and help the, the reassemble the, yeah. yeah, you do find a nearby bucket with like a, a bit of salt left on it, like probably the one they used to create it in the first place, and there's just enough salt to fix the rest of it and uh, you, you know kind of like it's very yeah uh, it's strange you guys like when you do it you get this weird feeling that maybe it has some protective uh, qualities to it but uh, it's weird because there's some kind of liquid where it's broken and it bubbles a bit where it's broken so but it, with the salt you, you get to fix it as i said but there is definitely some kind of weird protective feeling from the circle 
Oh. I like the circle. The circle's <laughs> nice. Raven, circle feels good. Circle up. I'm, st I'm, I'm gonna just like move closer to it while still looking at the ship. Yeah, so uh, Raven, you are. Uh, you, you've looked at it while these guys are fixing it, and, and Paul is double checking everything. So, no, 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 don't, don't go just yet. Like, and, and uh, reads, and I don't think there's anything we're supposed to say or anything. It, from everything I see right now, it's supposed to work. Uh, and Raven, you can see now that, or first of all, you can hear there's mo no more sounds coming from your own vessel. It's dead silent right now. But you can see the creature. It's moving back and forth on the deck. Just It has spotted you, definitely. It's just waiting. Right now, the ship is just coming closer and closer. It's prowling back and forth on deck. You can see this, there's this long uh, elongated tail uh, from it as well. And it, it's... It's... Yeah, it almost looks the same like the thing, other thing in the ice there, but it's a bit different. And it's just looking at you. He knows you're looking at it as well. Can I, uh, like, take... I've got one of the, like, magic sabers from before. Yeah. Can I take it and just kind of, like, push push it into the circle? Not touching the circle on the ground, but just into that space. Uh, oh, this, the, the air... Oh, the, 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 uh, yeah, just kind of feel around, like, see no, if no, nothing happens. anything feels... Nothing different. happens. No? Cool. I'm gonna take one of those now that we found out the thing doesn't like this area that we've just written down. I'm just going to like <laughs> there. You're like better already. Okay, so you go um, inside the circle, Raven. Uh, no. I take one of the sabers from the one of the bodies. That's the thing I want to okay, yeah. just like take it. Does somebody want to step into the circle? I don't know if it's gonna be better. Can Two. we try and throw the two more minutes thing? Oh crap! Nick, now that you've defaced oh. the what you call it, is it still hot? Is it still hot? Yeah, it is. Oh, it for fuck's sake! Like, you, you're not able still... to. You're, you're not Holy? able to destroy okay. the rooms. Okay. It must uh, be like we... very, very thick, like kind yeah. of like. Can we throw it stone. on the inside the circle? It would. If would you, that make if it you uh, remove it from the chains now, it would definitely just fly through there to, to the. Like... It, it's. Yeah. Pulling on the chains right now, trying to go towards yeah, the yeah, ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Um, are we supposed to do that, or, or are we supposed to stand in it to protect us? I don't know if it's supposed to protect the thing or protect us in the sense. Uh, uh, I'm it definitely staying inside the circle, says Paul, and steps into it. Oh, it's supposed to stop things from getting inside or from leaving? Oh, going it, into it, the it, circle. It, it's, I'm going it's in the said circle. It's supposed to bind the shit. Okay? So, so. Maybe it doesn't want to go inside the circle. Wait, uh, give me uh, just for Pete's one sake, second. For Pete's sake. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll take like a small. Uh, or you guys can discuss the situation, but there's a. No, I'm right confused. Now. Like I don't know if we're supposed to keep it in the circle from preventing it from warming up its friend. To be honest, that's just the whole thing with me. I, I'm still inclined to release the big metal object. What? And then perhaps we could bind the artifact. He wants to uh, release out. the artifact. Yeah. And start melting the ice more. To be honest with you, how I... would that help our situation in the sense? Because this guy's still coming at us, not at like a, a ramming speed. I'm happy about that, but just like slowly, he's gonna try and jump onto our ship for fun. Yeah. Um. Maybe it's you know it it's it wants the other thing free. And we can help it with that. Maybe, you know, maybe that's why it's angry. Uh, uh, well, we did remove it, it, it but it, I don't know it, why it, it started it looks like a wild to kill animal. everyone. I do look so wild, plan... indeed. Animal is a bit of a stretch, but uh, like a, a monster, <laughs> maybe. Oh, creature. Yes. From yeah, like, my, my, a like, fucking my, horror, a horror my, book. My, my, my 18th century understanding is just you know, Demon creature, or, uh, like you know, creature, there was times uh, where like apes were mistaken for humans and stuff. So it's like, it it's a creature. It 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 maybe it's threatened. Maybe we've hurt it. Yeah, the French hurt it. Goddamn French! Well, uh, so we proved to it we're English and we're the good guys. Yes. Yeah, that definitely helps. Yeah, I don't think it crew, cares. Right? Do you have anything? I don't think it cares. You guys were waving British flags uh, on that ship. 
uh, and uh, had British uniforms. So I'm definitely sure if it recognized French for, or differentiated in, bet in between French yeah. and English, it would have already done so. Yep. So our current plan is to melt its friend, get it out, and do a timing of actually getting them to the circle and bind them. Uh, melting the ice. Well, well, I, I'm I'm for the melting of melting of the ice. Not necessarily. I, beyond that, I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm thinking of trying to just maybe hide inside the circle like Paul is doing currently. Seeing as if Paul hasn't instantly melted or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's definitely fine in, in there. Yeah. He actually does then try I'm... to do a little step outside and in again, and nothing happens. Are we sure then... letting them out is a good idea? Or aren't they going to just like nope. do a tiger thing nope. around we the have circle no idea. until we leave? We have no idea. I mean, but we, we also have no shit. Yeah. The, the, the book said it's supposed to bind demons and other foul beasts of the earth. I, I, if it does come in here, I'll jump out and see if it's, it's stuck in there. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? wait, what? Are you saying this is not a protective seal? It's just meant to bind it's, them yes, as I point to them? But apparently they, they, they fucked it up somehow. I'm thinking the thing escaped. I'm thinking like they had it like in that circle and it just freaking broke out and just started killing them all. That's no, there's something idea. here that clearly broke the circle. That little bubbly, liquidy bit. They definitely uh, fucked it up. We're just going to do a time I'm out there. So e e everyone can oh. just uh, uh, think for themselves. Oh, Nick is coming back here. Perfect time. Thank you. Jeez, like I was story. getting a migraine. Okay, so you guys have still one more minute now to discuss oh, and plan whatever you want. Right now, the three other um, uh, stooges are inside the salt circle with their flintlock pistols. Just Should waiting. we get in the circle? I think we now have to get in the circle because, Nick, like, I don't know about freeing the. Are you releasing the artifact or not from its chains? No. Katie, K Katie Raven, Aaron. I say yes. I, I say, say yes. yes. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Okay, you've been then. I like since I'm there. Heads I'll up, just everybody! Yank okay, out. I'm going in the circle. I'm going in the circle. I'm going in the yeah. circle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then jump in the circle. Yeah, I'll jump in the circle after I release it. Katie, oh, are please you also going let into this the circle? protect us. Please let this protect us. I'm actually going to step outside the circle for now. Okay. What? Are you in front of the circle, blocking the, oh. or are you behind them? Sort of like where for oh. the where the, the thing are is coming from. Are you using a human shield or are you bait? Okay. <laughs> Essentially bait. I want to try to get the thing in the circle. Then maybe we hop out the circle. I don't know. If we put all our eggs in one basket and then so, drop okay, it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. okay. okay. Yeah, it's okay. Like it's like one we'll of take this survival. one for the team. Yep, yeah, so I'll okay, take I'm this gonna one just for the like team. look to everyone. In case she does do this, in case it tries to charge at her, we jump out as fast as we can before yeah, the creature yeah, yeah. gets us. So don't worry, I'll jump away if uh, this thing comes close to me. Trust me. Uh, Katie, so if I get this correct now, you actually stand in front of the salt, salt circle and mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. just put yourself out there in front of everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, Nick, fuck. as you release the chains, the, the thing just bounces one once on the deck and just smacks straight into the ice wall and starts hissing. Is the circle okay? Yeah, it doesn't okay. affect oh, thank any, God. any of the oh, thank stuff. God. <laughs> I <laughs> load up. Thank God. It was actually pretty close. It was in. close. I, okay. I put this. I put the star one in into the bullet. Uh, yeah. I put. I give him one of the star ones. Just okay. try and use this. Maybe it's special. Okay. 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 I'll just so, load that one in and. Raven and Nick, oh you guys go God. with the star metal. Uh, Katie and Aaron, oh what do you guys God. do? I pull out um, also my personal flintlock, just in case. Double cutlass. Okay, Aaron. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for the the, the light wood. Okay. Wait, 
Wait, you, you, you only uh, have silver and gold, actually. Oh, yes, true. Yeah. You, you could ask one okay. of the other guys. If you want one, I can give you I one. Have, I, have like, I have like a bunch of woods here, and I say, <laughs> yes, which one do you, you want, light or brown? And Paul and the other guys like, like, what the fuck is that stuff? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you need some. Uh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, does it work for our flintlocks, by the way? The gun you said for the captain was different. No, no. Oh, cool, cool. Put, okay. okay, cool. I'm going to put the star one in mine. And you wanted a wood one, Aaron? Yeah. The darker the light. Okay, I'm gonna give him. Light. I'm gonna okay. give him a light one, and then just in case, I'm gonna give Kate another star one, just in case, yeah, and then I'm gonna give. They're both uh, the cutlasses right now, uh, so I don't. Just know. in she's case, just in case, just in case, just, just in case. And in let's the give the. Head, like. <laughs> yeah, let's give the, the other squad of guys like uh, one yeah, of each, like one of each. Okay. Okay. We're so trying one everything. gold, one silver, one uh, dark, dark, uh, dark wood, one light wood. Yeah, whatever they just. If you guys say this work, we'll try it. Okay. It's time for another. I don't know if this is going to work. Music. We have to try. We're trying to, like, take a demon on. We just saw it eat everyone on a ship. Fuck, 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 fuck. He's going to be new captain then. <laughs> I vote me because I actually have smart ideas that no oh. one cares to listen about. And and brave, uh, you know, stuff. Oh, yes. Very brave. brave. Oh my god. By the way, the creature being nice in the term looks creepy enough, but the fact that it has a brother on the other ship kind of cancels that out, to be honest. So I think we should have, we would have just freed it and it would just killed all of us, to be honest. That was your idea, Katie, by the way. That was your idea. We've still kind of gone with that idea. Uh, yeah, but at least now we have an idea of what could happen. Uh, Maybe. Really. Yeah, fair really. enough. We're, we're nothing. We're back, and I suppose you guys are hearing the new music. <laughs> For yep. fuck's sake! So, right now, people are about to die. Music. Just standing there with her uh, pistols at, at the ready, just looking uh, straight at the, the, the sh your own ship. It doesn't have the greatest of speeds, so it's just. Yeah. floating slightly. It's going to rock the boat a bit, uh, but you can see that the creature is getting ready. Like it's uh, just like looking at almost like a cat or something is going to pounce. And immediately when the ship, uh, right before it strikes, it jumps and it's a fucking big leap and jumps over and the ship hits and both our ships are rocking a bit right now, and you, you guys are trying to uh, hold your ground as well. Oh. And the creature is in the air right now, and all of the three other people, uh, as soon as they are able to, try to strike it while mid-air. Does anyone else uh, try I'm... to shoot while it's mid -air? No, I'm going to keep my flintlock, because just yeah. the fact that it tried to shoot, it, like, our crew tried to shoot it to hell, and... Does it look damaged at all? Do we see uh, any blood as it jumps? Right, right. Now that you're actually very close to it, you can see it's like it almost has like a carapace uh, around all of its body parts. It's uh, it's almost like it's armored. Oh, I'm cool. gonna try to shoot it at so as soon as it lands before it can find its footing to move again. Okay, yeah. Paul shoots his golden bullet. And he misses oh, you're actually... oh. badly. Oh, it's great. A, the lower the better. Fucking Paul. Yeah. Mark shoots the silver bullet. What a one guy. And he actually hits. So let's Oh! Go. Oh, and thank God. Oh, it, it uh, hits, damn. Uh, it's straight in the body, and you can just see the silver bullet. It doesn't do any damage at all to this thing. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. And this now is such we have... a good thing. <laughs> Mark with uh, the dark bullet. And he misses as well. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. Paul uh, squad. Nick, uh, Aaron, Raven, are you guys going? You said you wanted to fire I'm Nick. keeping my bullet yeah, until I'm it firing gets closer. It I'll give you a 50% chance of uh, uh, hitting right now. Okay. And you miss. <laughs> oh, shit. Remember, you have one reroll. I'm do you wish to use it or uh, uh, you? No, uh, if you don't use it, uh, I'll just uh, assume you guys just tell me when you want to use the reroll. 
No. Yeah, no. no, I don't think I'll use it here. I'll just try to load up as fast as I can another bullet. And, okay, what like, kind of I'm going to keep my bullet just in case. I'm just going to keep bullet my bullet thing? in case. Uh, what do I have on me? Uh, I'm just one like of pouring each. him. I'm just pouring him. I, like, I think you the one of everything. Yeah. yeah, you had one of each, except for the scary one oh, yeah, because yeah, you yeah. shot it away right now. You missed. No, I passed him one. I passed him another one. Okay. Yeah, he did. Pa uh, yeah. If I have another one, I'll try a starry one. Okay, sure. If I don't, then I'll do like some light wood. Raven, Aaron. Uh, uh, I'm gonna wait. Nothing. I'm, I'm gonna wait too. Are There's you, no what, what are you way guys we're gonna. Uh, I, I'm shot. Wait, waiting to see what it does, and you know if it is actually you know what, what effect this barrier could have, if any. Oh right now, boy! It's leaping at Katie. Katie, you've got Katie? Half, half a second to react. What do you do, or what do you try? Katie? I try to put myself as close to the artifact as I can. Well, the, okay, so let's, let's just take a little, little pick uh, here. Oh so, my God. the, the, the uh, view we're looking at right now is approximately where the creature jumped over from your ship to this ship. And you're standing uh, a bit uh, in front of the blood thing right now, or the, the, the dark liquid thing on the ground. And uh, so, so if you're standing next to the artifact, you're actually standing on the other side. You told me you were standing in front of the circle. Oh. It. So you're on the other Wait. side of the circle right now, Katie. Uh, are you going to run around us? No, no. If I understand no, where I'm at properly, it's a then half I... second. It's half a second. Like you have to react yeah. right then now. Then it's just cutlasses up. Okay. What? Uh, out, baby. Okay. So you trying oh, to fuck block, it, no. block, block it or trying to strike it? <laughs> um, mostly <This> block. Is... <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh my God. The, cre the creature strikes, and it has a seventy-five percent chance of hitting. Oh my god! It hits, and I can... Yeah, okay, so, uh, usually, I give the players 10% chance of dodging, because, but because of your... Oh just trying god. to stop it right now, I'll be nice and give you 15% chance of doing <laughs> so. Alright. Uh, oh my god! Hit. I suppose ah! you want... Do you want to use the reroll? No, I will no, use my reroll, please. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and you actually yeah. succeed. You. Oh the, my there's this god! Huge, fast, sharp claw that strikes towards oh you. You god. manage to block it, and you're flung backwards. So you actually are flung into the salt circle right now. Oh crap! And uh, we, we'll be like going a little. Uh, if Can we grab if this it? is lower than. Yeah, okay, no. It, she doesn't hit any one of you guys. Oh, thank God. But so I'm it's saying, better inside is he the circle in than as out. Well? Yeah, you're inside the circle, Katie. And with, uh, with the thing, amazingly, with the thing. without a scratch, except for like uh, a bit wounded pride and a sore back right now, but you don't care about that. <laughs> the circle is still okay. Uh, yeah, she didn't hit the salt okay. circle either. Okay, 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 okay. Raven, Aaron. No, but I'm she, saying she, the, the the creature is just in front of you guys and uh, slashed. Bang! Her, so. Bang! Okay. Raven, you I'm gonna shoot. shoot! I'm gonna shoot! It's point blank right now, and it just struck Katie, so you have... I'll, I'll give you, like, a 60% chance to hit. You see, that's why I waited. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes! I'll Come on, man! For well. fuck's sakes! I just hit the armor. I'm not using a reroll for that, to be honest, because, okay. like, I'm pretty sure those rerolls are for your life, because you just blocked a fucking creature. Aaron, what do you do? I, I, I'm waiting. Okay. I, I'm, I'm just. I'm, just I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm holding steady. I'm. Yeah. You, uh, like. Uh, I'm gonna... Mark, Paul, and Brian are all furiously trying to reload their gun, just as Nick is doing. So, uh, right now you're just all standing in the salt circle like this, and Katie, is, I suppose you're trying to get yourself uh, up again. But you, you, and for a short second, you can see uh, the creature is looking at the salt circle, and then it jumps straight into the next guy. Which is let's me see let me see. Oh, uh, cool, if, cool. If, if this cool. is if this is uh, above seventy percent chance now, it's one of you guys. No, oh no, no. Oh, it, thank God. It is oh, Brian. Wait, wait. Oh no. Oh, oh it no, actually misses it's the Brian. Book. Oh, thank it actually God. misses Brian. But the creature is inside the circle with you guys right now. Jump out! Jump out! We jump out. Yeah, circle's not good. 
Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna go to the to the back of the deck. Okay. So I'm kind of it's out of the way of the mind. circle. Um, Brian, read the, the book. Other. Brian, read the it, book. It's it's right in between all of you guys right now, and you like zoop, or, or, or jump, getting out of the. Nick, you just in time to actually reload your gun, but it doesn't seem like uh, all, all the other guys managed to do it. I'll try to blast it as soon as I step out. With the starry metal again. Let's go. Yes. Come on. Come That's on. That's a hit. Uh? That's a hit. Oh, thank God. Please be like 10 or something. Okay, you can six see the, is so bad. Star metal striking on, uh, the side of the, his head and nothing happens. Doesn't leave a scratch. What the fuck? I get to loading a, a light wood one. Uh, to be uh, honest with you, I'll do... you're the last one I'm... out of the circle, but... Uh, what, what do you guys do now? Katie, Raven, Aaron? I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna take my shots. Okay. Uh, okay. Let, I, I'm also gonna give you a sixty percent chance. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the light wood strikes it um, at the side of uh, the you know back, and oh, does nothing. Oh. No damage at all. Just like what the hell? Yes. Nick, that's useless. I stop loading the light wood and try to load <laughs> something else. Well, we have gold and silver. I'm going to try gold. I'm going to try gold shots. I shot. think the silver didn't do anything. I, I, we've, so we've, we've already tried try the gold. silver. Yeah, I'll try dark wood. So gold. Uh, well, the I creature gold. quickly looks around like you're semi-surrounding it right now. Let's just go wait, with wait, the... If it's above 60%, I, I... it's one of you guys. No. Oh, thank so God. It's Mark's turn. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and since Mark is an NPC, okay. he, he immediately dies. Like, the creature just what? jumps and tears his fucking head off. Right off. Wait, he so jumps the out, can of the jump out of the circle? Yes, he jumps out of the circle. Well, we told Bride to read. We told Bride to read. No, no, like, Paul, the is, spell Paul, is the one, Paul is the one with the book. But uh, he's furiously trying to reload his gun right now. Oh, for fuck's sake, Paul, read the book! <laughs> The, okay. Read the book. It just it's like, boring. It's out. Ra Raven. I know, uh, but we can. Katie, what do you do? Fuck. Salt Fuck. circle clearly doesn't fucking work. Let's see what the creature in the ice is doing, reacting yeah. to this. What? Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Right now, you can see that the uh, the artifact has melted uh, pretty deeply into the ice, but it's not going at the creature. It's burying into something beneath the creature. You can see it, it's going downwards. What? Huh? Is that deep enough that it's like a hole? Yeah, no. there might be, might be room for one person inside there now, but you will Are slide... Are we seriously you, doing that? You will slide straight the into that very, that. very hot object in there. Which is I'd bubbling really like and boiling water right now. I'd really this thing. Oh, yeah, we I really want to bind this... Okay, yeah. Katie, you jump it's in. It's going to follow us! Yeah. It's going to follow us! Ah. I'll give you uh, uh, oh, like it's a... It's not us, there's one person. Yeah. There's only room for one person inside. Uh, but Katie, like I'll give you an 80% chance basically. of actually making, because you have to jump a bit oh, and no. then try to hit the hole. Yeah. Oh, thank you jump God. into it. Uh, Raven, you just finished loading your bullet. I, I have the gold one to see if this affects it at all. I'm going to try and... Yeah. Should we get out of here? Should we get out of here or something? Or should we just try to see if we can damage it? This because is what now Katie's gone into a hole. This is what you're screaming as you're shooting your bullet at it. <laughs> yeah. And you miss. Oh, for fuck's sakes! I'm just, like, terrified. Like, that's, this that's creature the just ripped for you the guys. off. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you're, are you... What are you doing? I, I'm good. Take the, uh, the the gold shots as well. Yeah, you're reloading from oh, the gold yeah. shot right now. And Nick, what were you doing? You you just shot, but what's your next plan? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of the uh no, I'm gonna reload the pistol. You were gonna do with, the harpoon thing, weren't you? You were gonna do the harpoon okay, thing, what, weren't you? What are you, you reloading with? You're out of starry metal, by the way. Uh, oh, with, uh, dark wood. One of each. You got one of each. Yeah. So, uh, dark wood. 
you don't, you didn't give any more bullets to. Uh, um, Paul I still and, have them on me. Uh, Paul like, just start screaming shit in Latin or French from the book. You don't you don't really know what he's screaming. He's ah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know that makes the creature. Oh, thank God! And he strikes him. But if it... And oh. Paul, Paul gets a very spiky tail straight through his throat. Cool, we're jumping in the hole. We're jumping in the hole now. Okay, because now Paul is the only one who Katie. can read the fucking book. Katie, right now, you are getting boiled alive uh, because of all the <laughs> boiling water down there. It's very Steam. hurtful uh, to both your physical oh. being and your feelings. So, uh, I suppose your natural reaction will to try and get the fuck out of that uh, boiling Oh, hell. for fuck's sake! I would like oh, to young. reach out for uh, a help and holler oh, yeah, at Aaron. You, you are able be to like, just grab the edge of the hole yeah. and pull yourself out. Yeah, be like, uh, uh rope, please! You what? most likely go over We're the edge and into the water. Something. Into the water below? Yeah. Well, All yeah. right. That, that, Wait, that's we, very we nice, actually, something. right now, with the cold water uh, soothing all your, uh, yeah. <laughs> like we haven't tried something, though. We it was very we hot, man! <laughs> oh, yeah. No way! No shit! Uh, we haven't tried something, though. We haven't tried the swords. We haven't tried the swords yet. That's what you're we yelling this, right the now, sword. because it's your turn. What do you do, Raven? I don't want to get close to it. I'm gonna try. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Ah! You just throw your sword. That's it, maybe. No! If you don't, if you I'm don't not gonna come throw up with anything sword. within the ne next five seconds, you actually just throw my sword. Ah, all right, this. Five, four. What do you do, Ray? I'm gonna charge Three. with the sword. I'm gonna charge with my sword. Okay, you pull oh, your it's sword and start kill me. start charging. It it it's uh, on the other side right now, so you're uh, going over there. Nick, oh, you have your uh, next bullet ready. What do you do? Right, I. Uh, try to notice if uh, does it have a carapace or is yes. it like it has uh, carapace all all over the body, like in uh, joints, like everywhere. Okay, oh, so the there isn't sakes. any place that seems softer. No, nah. okay. uh, except uh, maybe inside its mouth or eyes. I. Uh, I do the eye. I'm mouth gonna just yell swallows it. To Raven, like stab it in the face, and I'm just gonna try to shoot it and like yell at it and get its attention so it will uh lower itself down and try to like okay. pounce on Eat me. you so do you want to take its attention before you shoot so you don't shoot actually right now you just delay that and yeah. just get ready just... okay yeah yeah aaron you're still reloading your gun this round takes a full round to do that okay katie okay. you're swimming around in seawater right now um <laughs> You oh, know there's the, uh, you know there's the ropes you can climb up on the other side. You just have to get round. Uh, if you don't get up from the water in the next minute, you'll most likely start actually freezing to death. Even though it's very soothing right now. She's like, yeah, because you're in the Arctic Sea and everything. That stuff freezes you alive. Yeah, literally, like from the frying pan to the fire. Um, so we're just gonna try to get out of the water now. But a strange way, this feels more you're peaceful. The same. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, because we're seeing the creature coming, killing us. I want you You're to, the one uh, start... that's actually safer. I want you to start counting, Kitty. Uh, you have four oh, rounds until me. you reach around the ship to either one of the life bo or the boats you actually came in, or the rope to start climbing up. You decide, but one of Got them. It. And um, yeah, every time we go like from Raven, he just starts one and four turns. Uh, this is the first one. Raven, uh, you're actually next to him now, trying to... Oh no, actually, it's the creature first, and it's poor Brian's uh, turn. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. It hits Brian. Oh, Brian's dead. God. It's only four of oh, you guys fuck left. Me. Raven, oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck! He is slicing uh, Brian in two right now. You are able to stab him in the back <laughs> if you want to. Or just... If I want to stab him in the eye! Okay, so then you go around. The <laughs> you don't. You can either Wait, get I'm a higher. Still like, oh. Raven, you have the choice right now. Either I give you a higher percentage of hitting him as he is killing Brian right now, or I give you a lower one and you can strike at his face. Nerd. Five seconds <laughs> to decide. The face. The face. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll give you. Uh, no. 
30% chance of striking its face. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you want I'm to use right your in front of it! Cool, I'm gonna die! Thank Do you want you to use your re-roll or not? Maybe. Re-roll. Let's go re-roll. You strike it in its face. Now, since this isn't shooting, he can also dodge. Sorry. Give, let me see here. He has... Oh, that's uh, not too nice with you guys. He has 40% chance to dodge because he's very, very quick and agile. So let's go. What? Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Easily dodge. Can somebody reroll it? Please, please, please. Nick, here's your chance. He just dodged it, dodged it and you are now able to see its face and shoot. But I'm going to try please. that. Yeah, you're still aiming at very small and moving yeah. targets, so you also get a 30% chance of hitting. No. I'm gonna reroll it. Reroll it is. Yeah. Yeah! We did it! All Let's right. go for damage. Uh, whatever this damage comes to right now, since you struck its face, I'm gonna add 5 on top of it. 10. 10. 10. Ten. Hey. Oh, okay. good. I'm good. Yes. So this is what happens. You strike its face, and it reels back a bit as you actually hit inside the mouth uh, of the creature. But it doesn't seem to hurt it too much. It only gets a lot oh. angry and looks at you, Nick. Aaron, what do you do? Oh. oh. I think they had a good idea of using the cannon, by the way, because now I can see why they used tried to use the cannon on it, right? Um, five uh, seconds. I'm gonna run over. Well, I'm a, I'm a, can I run over to try and throw a rope down to Katie? Yeah, you can. Oh dear. Like, yeah, you, like I'm not gonna be in the way or anything. Yeah. As it were. Yeah, Katie. I'll, I'll yeah, do that. Actually, uh, so yeah, you, the. That means she can start climbing from the next round. Uh, Katie, you see, uh, or Aaron, maybe you shout out to her, like, you know, grab the rope. Yep. Uh, so you see, uh, the, during this round, the rope coming down to you, Katie, you can start climbing from the next round. Raven, what do you... Here's... No, Wait, actually, isn't it the creature's you, turn? Yeah, yeah, thank you for uh, noticing. And, uh, so, Nick, it didn't li like you shooting at it, so it immediately oh, swipes oh, its ta tail against, uh, towards you. And it misses. <gasps> Raven, Raven, what do you do? Okay. You're still in striking range since with the sword. We no, since we saw that it does nothing. Oh, actually, no, you did the golden bullet, right? I did the dark wood bullet. Yeah, dark wood, straight into the Oh, mind. sh... I don't know if the thing will affect it, to be honest. Because we just saw the circle do nothing. Spray salt on it? What? Spray salt on it? No, I thought that would work. It swims in salt water. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Um, I say we go downstairs and try and do a cannon on it. Okay, you have to decide. Do you run from the creature right now, Raven? You're now is right in front of it, striking distance, but it's swiping its tail at Nick right now. Oh boy, I don't want to leave Nick to die. I do not want to leave Nick to the guy. Um, is he blind at least? Uh, can, can we just like... Can we, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for the face again. I'm going to go for the face again to get him at me. 30% chance. It's a miss. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm sorry, Nick. Nick, you have its attention. Um, I'm getting oh my, my own, uh, like, uh, plus saber plus. out. Yeah. And... I am gonna try to get behind it. Even though it's facing you and a lot quicker, but sure, you can uh, you can <laughs> oh try to God. ride the creature. Uh, I'm gonna give you a 5% chance of actually getting onto its back. Let's see what oh happens. Oh my gosh. Sure. It's a d20. <laughs> oh no. No, you no, clumsily try to from... uh, you know, strike towards it. And Aaron, uh, you're right now, she has a. Uh, the rope is down her. Do you just fasten it or do you try to help with pulling? Um, 
I, I, I'm going to try and help pull it up. Okay, that speed, that speed up, that means, back onto yeah, the deck. That means after the next round now, she will be up on deck instead of using several rounds. Oh, is that a good idea? Because she might be the only one alive after the this. The creature still doesn't like you, and you're trying to ride its ass right now, so oh. it, it <laughs> slashes you down. And it hits you. Oh, no. Oh. And mind you, you used up your reroll, so uh, yep. the, the percentage of you dodging right now is 10%. There's the thing, you're a player, so I'm gonna give you one in a 10% chance, like 10% chance of surviving right now. If this is one low. in 10. Yes, no, well, no, well, yes. Well, can't, can you say one of us can offer up our reroll to him? No, we you, can, you cannot. Yes. You cannot. Oh, you, can, you can't. You specifically okay. cannot. Okay. Bye, then. Nick. Yes. It oh. just oh. rips you apart, Nick, as you're trying to climb it. Nick, you're out. Oh. Oh okay. my god. Katie, you're using your turn this turn to like, climb up uh, with the help of Aaron. Uh, at the end of this turn, you are up on deck again. Raven, what do you just do? Just to see oh, Nick boy. get absolutely eviscerated. Red. Oh, oh, there's just a, there, there'll just <laughs> yeah. be a body by the time you get up. Uh, actually, the thing you see when you get um, up on deck is, is that what the, the creature is doing next. Raven, what do you do? You're the only one standing in its way right now. Oh, cool. I'm the only one standing in its way between two people that could survive this. I have a feeling it's going to kill me the moment I move away, aren't I? Yeah, you're not going to be able to run away from it. You've seen its speed. I look towards the two of them. Figure a way to kill this thing! <laughs> uh, and I try and go for its face again. Yeah, 30%. And you miss. What's up with me? 60s. Like, it's been 60 for me for some I, reason. I, I've like, seen it's it. 64, 61, 63. It's cursed, Raven. It's so... curse. It's because you touch something or whatever. Who knows? <laughs> Aaron, you help Katie get up on board as you yep. actually both see the creature look at you, Raven, and strike at you. Yep. And it misses. <gasps> Katie, you're up on uh, like, and you uh, you see, you three are the only one left standing. Nick is torn to shreds next to Raven right now, fighting for his life. Oh dear me! How's the Run. creature in the ice looking? Fresh and nice. And oh, where's the artifact? Inside, you mean actually inside the ice? Well, yeah. You know, uh, there's nothing trying to free it because the the thing is burrowing underneath it, as I mentioned. So it isn't touching the creature at all. And how far deep is the artifact right now? Uh, a couple of uh, like like a meter or further. It's it's hard to say. It's bubbling water down there. You, you've been there you before. You want to jump back in, don't you? You don't recommend it to yourself. No, 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 no not do, not doing that again. I don't think we can actually kill it. I, um, I, I, I say we run to the other end of the ship. Yeah. Five seconds, Katie. Run to the other end. Okay, so that means you have to Sorry. actually run around it, Raven. What do you do? Yeah, like the back of the ship. I, I mean. Yeah. No, front, but I'm... okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the other uh, side where the creature is not, yeah, yeah. which yeah. is either down. You can also go down to. It's just gonna uh, jump. It's just gonna jump again. You can either go below deck or you can go uh, try to get into the the little boat, or you can try to jump over to your own vessel instead. Is it close enough? Yeah. It's like grinding slowly. I think it. actually, grind jump to the other ship. Yeah, Katie as well. That's I a suppose. Great idea. Yeah, Definitely. Raven, you're still it's straight in front of the creature. It's just gonna jump. It's just gonna jump over. It, it, it's busy with you right now. At the si uh, side of your uh, visuals, you can see Katie and Aaron running for the British vessel. Um, this was Nick's last call. And I'm just gonna try something that might just get me killed. I'm gonna scoop some of the salt and try blow it at his face. Yeah. Uh, so throwing salt is just know. like a cone anyway, so it's very easy for you to uh, do so. I'll give you an 80% 80, 80 chance of uh, hitting it with the salt. But that means okay. you're throwing yourself down and unable to dodge. So if it strikes you, you cannot what? dodge. It's on the, on the floor. 
Yeah, you're like, okay, I'm getting down on the floor here now in front of a creature that's oh, super, uh, like a super killer. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I already said it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? So the as you're grabbing the salt, you don't. No, no, it's, it's slipping through my hands. I'm, I'm too cold. I'm, uh, you, you actually don't grab, manage to grab the salt. Yes. Uh, um, I'm Katie dead. Katie and Aaron, uh, okay, you're bye, right guys. next to the, the jumping part soon, but the creature strikes at uh, Raven first, and it hits. So let's bye, go with guys. a ten percent chance of not dying, but you're fatally wounded instead. You're dead, Raven. I'm dead. Bye, you, guys. As you try to grab the soldier, ah, it'll get like a it, it just, just chops you in two. Right there. <laughs> Katie, uh, you're a bit cold and doing? boiled, so um, uh, the, 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 I'll give you like a slight chance of actually not managing to do the job because you're, you're the entire uh, drenched. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're drenched. So yeah, and let's just say you fail if you get above eighty here now. So because the the oh, it's fine you actually managed to do the jump. Same with you, Aaron. For you, it's an auto succeed. It's it's, it's very close. So yeah, yeah. So oh, the, boy. But the creature goes immediately and uh, starts running towards you guys. Oh my gosh, Katie, you're above your own, uh, you're, uh, Yeah, you're on your own ship now, your own vessel. What do you do? Um, I I still have a loaded pistol. Yeah. Um. I believe it was loaded with the gold, but I'm not completely sure if, that, if I remember right. I think it was the gold. I, I think it was the gold as well, yeah. Yeah. yeah you um, were trying to, we were trying I'm, to I'm, test which bullets could hurt it. I'm going to try and take a shot. Yeah, uh, but Kate is first and turn order her. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I thought, I thought you asked oh, that, that, what I was. That's fine. It's a, you're doing it at the same time, so. Okay, yeah. I am running towards our captain's quarters. For what reason? For oh. hiding. <laughs> okay, sure. <That's laughs> Aaron, you're you, leaving you actually, Aaron to die. Actually, you have a very good uh, chance of hitting it right now because you can know its uh, tra trajectory as it's jumping over as well. So it's easier for you to aim while it's flying through the air. I'll give you a uh, 70% chance of hitting. But it's landing next to you, by the way. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go with the damage. Nothing happens. Oh, for sakes. And now it strikes at you, Aaron. Oh, I'm dead. It hits you. Yep. You got your 10% chance to dodge. Yeah, I'm so dead. And then Damn. you got your 10% yep. chance to survive, but fatally wounded instead. No, Wait, I Aaron. thought that was the 10%. No. You're Sorry. dead. You're out. Katie, oh, God. you're running down the stairs and trying to get into the captain's quarters. And you can hear uh, from behind the creature bounding and leaping over the deck, trying to follow you downstairs. You are able She's to reach like... the captain's quarters. But it's locked. But it's followed the her. The captain oh. doesn't want people to go into his cabin. <laughs> <laughs> captain! Oh captain my god! Who, who is the captain again? Who, he was privacy was minded. He not like one... Oh yeah, he was right uh, behind. You <laughs> realize it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because the creature is like it would have struck you while you were going through the door anyways as you turn oh around my god. and see the creature <laughs> diving straight into hitting you. And oh. Chang chance uh, even is even lower because <gasps> you're drenched and wet and boiled. <sighs> and I'm just gonna say you're dead. You're also dead. <laughs> a valiant end, running for our lives. <laughs> exactly. I was suggesting that with the ship of just like sailing away. Everybody thought it was crazy, to be honest. I don't think we could have moved it in time. Okay. We could have so blown up the ship with it on it. You see, that swim. works. A little uh, music changer as we're. Jeez, like that thing shredded us. Red, to be ripped to neck. Up, me lads, <laughs> but, um, but, 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 to but, this wonderful year. Okay, so but can we all just say it was Paul's fault because he was doing his fucking thing rather than just reading the book? Wait, you were supposed sure to be on deck keeping a watch. And no one of you guys told him to do that before. 
Like you had 10 minutes to prepare for this stuff and no one told him. Like you start reading from the book or whatever. Now, here is the solution. And one of you did actually... There's, there's actually two solutions. And one of you said one thing and w w another one said another thing. Okay. Salt is the big solution. Just take... Let's take a little, little look at the picture. Right now you can see the salt circle is broken. And there's this strange liquid no one cared to investigate any further at all. Which is the creature's uh. blood from under its foot as it stepped into the salt circle. Because that melts its carapace and makes it vulnerable. Uh, and well it. done, Nick. Well done, Nick. Uh, oh, if you had actually managed to throw the salt effectively... You would have seen like really it, it would have it, yeah. immediately reacted by shrieking and crying. And its chance to hit you would have decreased. And its damage would have increased, and it would be easier to hit. And if you hit it in any of the locations where you hit it with assault, you would actually start to do damage because its armor would be gone. So there's the. It was thing. a slug. It was literally a slug. And like... you guys were wrong. <laughs> it didn't swim in the salt water because what salt water is still full of salt, so it doesn't like you guys. That's saw I took it. the boat. It was on the boat. No, it was took not the driving the boat. boat. Someone escaped with the boat. If you guys saw. There's one of the other ship's boats missing, remember? Yeah. And uh, oh. on that ship was uh, one of the last guys to escape from the ship. And the creature actually jumped into the little boat, killed that dude, but now it, it, it can't use the oars, and it's just drifting out. And it drifted around outside of the island. And as you guys were inside investigating, it drifted back. And your captain and the crew just... Hey, what's that little boat doing? It can't be any dangerous, what? right? It's just a small little boat. We can just blast it to pieces if if there's any French on it. So they just start going over. And that's when the creature jumps up at it again. The, the thing you guys the... saw is swimming yeah. in the water was just a leopard seal. I'm just building up some uh, oh, <laughs> atmosphere you fucking here. Jerk. Yeah, but I never said you guys saw any of that thing in the water. So you guys just assumed. Anyways, yeah. the second thing... Katie said it. Release the second creature. These creatures <laughs> no are way. apex predators. No and way. They do not like each other. They do are you not kidding me? They do not see you guys as threats compared to each other. Say so they would have immediately started fighting with each other. And whoever won would have been hurt enough for you guys to finish it off. It would still be dangerous <laughs> and hard unless you finish it up with salt as well. That would be the most easiest way to win this game. Now, here's the other clues. When Paul read from the book, he said, this circle is supposed to bind demons and other foul beasts of the earth. This creature is not of the earth because it's an alien. It's an alien ship yeah. down in that water, yep. in that ice. And the artifact Oof. is part of a homing beacon trying to get back to the ship. So it started melting yep. down towards it. And uh, that's why we read in the book like uh, a, a spectacle of shooting fiery stars, which is an exploding yep. vessel up in the atmosphere. So these are more yep. like, you know, xenomorph kind of alien creatures with... Uh, yep. And that's this last clue. The chef, the only guy who was still alive and was not slashed Grounded or bitten, he was hiding behind the barrels of salt. A creature realized and didn't want to go there so it used one of its special attacks with it vomiting its blood which is acid killing him with it it's not nice for him to do it it doesn't like it but it is a thing he can do and it will hurt itself doing so but it's not necessary because you guys are weak and don't do shit and all the bullets are red herring they are for you to the oh no oh, this must work right and you guys will just try to forget all of the other little, small little clues i sprinkled in there to be fair, we did do the salt. We did do this one you thing. Tried. Was Nick, salt, was, at least. Nick was on it, yeah. For, for a moment, we were trying to release the other predator, but somebody was scared of doing that. Yes, the brave captain. Yes. Right? If, we, I'm a living... <laughs> if we had yeah. started with the predator earlier, and if we had begun with the salt, that would have been... I mean, but we were too late on releasing the predator. We also thought that like letting go of the device thing would let the other predator out. It yeah, but it would and just kill us before killing it. Yeah. 
I, I, I warned you guys. I did warn you like beforehand. I told you that my stories are not easy. They're hard. And but yeah, no. Can, does anyone have any objections to th the solutions of this story? They're brilliant. To be fair, like I, I, they were brilliant. They were brilliant. Thank you. 